Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Highlander LE all-wheel drive. Now the most notable features on the LE is its backup camera, its Bluetooth connectivity, as well as its automatic high beams. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle, just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Highlander LE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the LE model is your auto daytime running lights. You also have your newly redesigned front end for 2017. And if we take a closer look at your front bumper, you're going to see your plug-in block heater. Over on the side, you have your 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels. Taking a look on your mirrors here, you have your integrated signal lamps as well as your heated mirrors, vortex generators. And one of the nice things with the vortex generators, they actually assist with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. You can find them on your tail lamps and they also assist with fuel efficiency. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is Oulala Rouge. Now, to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now you have your black cloth interior seat surfaces, and if we take a look just over on your uh, left-hand side, sorry, you're going to see your automatic high beams on and off, as well as your window wiper DIA icer. And then you'll also have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls that you'll see on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, as well as your scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and your cruise control. Now one of the nice things as well with the LE model is you do have this nice multi-informational display. So with the multi-informational display, you can go through many of the different options on here, which include your eco indicator and all-wheel drive control, as well as your sway warning control. And if we take a look over to the right, you can see your cruise control, as well as your lane departure alert and your messages, and then your settings for your lane departure alert, as well as your pre-collision system, and a couple of other additional features that you can customize in here, and well, I should say personalize for yourself. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top, you're going to see your digital clock and then heading into your setup menu, you're going to see your general voice display as well as a couple of other additional features. Now down below you have your climate control settings with your fan speed as well as your temperature control. You also have your hazard lights, front, rear and mirror defroster just located on your left hand side. Underneath you'll find your traction control on and off as well as your snow mode, downhill assist control and your all-wheel drive lock including your USB and auxiliary with your power outlet. And it's matted to a 8-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the very top here, you're going to find your sunglass case holder for those days when it's quite bright outside while you're driving. And then you also have an additional mirror on the inside just so you can keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located on your left-hand side. Rear hatch at least will be located just underneath your Toyota emblem. And I'm just going to take a closer look at the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. One of the nice things with your third row is it's a 60-40 split, so depending on what your needs are for, you can have three additional passengers in the back or if you need the extra cargo space that's available to you. But if you do need the additional occupants, all you have to do to just pull up the seats, just pull the strap on the back of the seat here, pull it up. Headrests are just located right behind here, and then if you want to tilt the seat back, just pull on the strap here and pull, uh, pull it back. This is so that your third row passengers can be comfortable as well. Now if you want to fold it back down to the floor, pull on this piece here again, push it forward, and it will fold back into the floor for you. Now underneath uh, the front here, you're going to see your jack and your toolkit as well as a little bit of storage space to hide away some of your valuables. You'll also have some additional storage space just located on your left side as well. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.